We're going to do a lot of system talk here. Because I'm hearing a lot of chatter on the right that sounds similar to what Mitch McConnell said yesterday. That we're going we're gonna to restore norms. I mean, Mitch McConnell basically said it today about the impeachment stuff. He said, impeachment ought to be rare. And this is not good for the country. That's what Mitch McConnell had to say, of course. Well, okay. Should be rare. And not good for the country. This is what it sounds like when the GOP speaks like this. We don't, we, remember Bill Barr, we don't want to do a tit for tat. Mitch McConnell says, it's not good for the country. You know what you sound like? You sound like the person with Ebola virus calling it seasonal allergies and acting as if you simply pretend it doesn't exist, then it will either stop existing or that it actually doesn't exist because you pretend in that way. Our leaders, our quote leaders, are all of them, every single one of them, they are so far removed from being anywhere in the vicinity of what it would take to actually save the country. I know this is a little bit heavy and a little bit cynical, but I am it's just it's a fact and everyone needs to know this. Mitch McConnell cannot save this country and doesn't even know how. But it's so much more than Mitch McConnell. Kevin McCarthy doesn't, Trump doesn't, DeSantis doesn't. These people, none of these people, none of them seem to understand what's truly happening out there. I hear talks about restoring norms and, and that would be bad for the country. And, and I want you to picture this. I want you to picture, what's a, what's a secret police or agency everyone would know? The SS. The SS. Hitler's SS. All right? Bad dudes. You can picture them right now. Bad dudes. I want you to picture this. I want you to picture an opposition party rising in Germany against Hitler. Obviously, we'd be much more in their camp. We don't even know their stances, but uh, yeah, we, let's defeat Hitler. And I want you to picture this moment. The SS, one of Hitler's top SS guys, they decide to get involved in the upcoming election to make sure a damaging piece of information about Hitler never makes it to the media. That way the public doesn't, doesn't worry about it at all. And then after the election, we find out this was this gigantic damaging piece of information. And the SS guy is the reason that that information did not get out to the public. And I want you to imagine in that moment, the opposition party that was opposing Hitler stepping up and saying, ah, dang, man, that's bad. But I've got to tell you, I don't think he should be prosecuted for that. That doesn't, that's not good for Germany. How bad would that be if we start arresting and prosecuting SS guys? Wow. I just want to get back to norms. Can I get back to norms, guys? How about some norms for me? I can't take this anymore. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. And I can name names. I'm about to name one. Elvis Chan is his name. He was the FBI agent who coordinated everything when it came to blocking the Hunter Biden laptop story from being seen by many people. He did that because he's a Democrat donor. He's a communist activist. So he was given this position, this lofty position of responsibility at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And as part of our secret police agency, he chose to get involved to electioneer on behalf of Joe Biden. He ran a protection operation for the Biden family so Joe Biden could win the presidency. Elvis Chan should never, ever, ever have a free day the rest of his life. He should be arrested put on trial, given a fair trial, and locked up in a federal penitentiary for the rest of his natural life. And the people on the right somehow believe that we can get this country back without that. You're insane if you think there's a polite way out of this. If you think there's a way to save this place without government people going to prison for long periods of time, I would argue you're naive to the point of being childlike. And you know how many people I hear talk about that? Zero. Well, I should say elected people. I know you talk about that. Or people running for office. 
They'll use vague terms like clean stuff up or, or we need to go after the deep state. I want arrests, trials. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. Well, you can. All you have to do is become a First TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand. And it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.